Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel Smarts Pagal and how is everybody? Hope you're all feeling above average. So today got a bit of a um, bit of a ride going on and I think I'm about a third of the way through it. Um, I'm going to visit Guy Martin's sister's pub, the Marrowbone and Cleaver. I've been once before my wife a few years back, I think it was back in 2016. Um, we went there and had a meal for my birthday, it was a surprise from my wife because she knows I am a Guy Martin fan. So yeah, just thought I'd just pay it a visit and just have a ride, get a drink and so I'll switch it off for now and I'll see you when I get there. <laughs> see you soon. Well, we're here, YouTube, Kermington. Now, as I pulled in, it told me that the road was closed. Because I don't know any other way in. I'll just follow it, see what it takes us. If we don't go, we don't get there. I've got to add one thing about these KTM jokes. I've travelled, what, 50, 40, 50 miles. Seats become very hard on them. <laughs> and there's not much room to move about as well. So we know to move position because it's got two piece seats. It's yeah, it's quite bad. <laughs> I don't even know if Marabone and Cleaver's open, in all fairness. <laughs> I ain't got a clue. I forgot, I never thought to look until I was like halfway here. But anyway, it's here on the right hand side. That's when I'm going and get a drink and then come out and sit back out here. See you in a bit. There we have it, the Maribor and Cleaver. Whew. Had a nice glass of Pepsi. And we just saw Sal as well, Sally on way out as well. That's a guy's sister. Yeah, nice little pub. A few bikers there as well. If I come up big on BMW, I'd, uh, I'd come up more to exit, been a lot faster. Airports outside. Bit on the side airport. Uh. <clears throat> so right, yeah, we just stuck on way to go today, and I just thought, you know, I haven't been to Marabone and Cleaver for absolutely ages. So I just thought I'd I'd have a ride over. You do feel a bit awkward filming. You know, you got to respect people's privacy, aren't you? And imagine um, they do get a lot of publicity you know, with TV and stuff, so I didn't really want to turn my camera on and go snooping around, it didn't feel right. So I just got myself a glass of coke, said hello, and went and sat outside and drunk it, and then thought to have a steady ride home. 
nice little pub though if you want to give it a try um, it was shut for a long time what Manabone and Cleaver then I think Guy bought it Guy Martin bought the pub spent a lot of money on it and then I think Sally's ended up with it and Sally's um, Guy's sister so I'm going to go over on a Wednesday night as well and try bike night because you get a lot of bikers there and obviously I go to Squires quite often so I might bump into a few lads that go there you don't know do you but yeah I won't go in and you know disrespecting privacy and stuff like that I know you know I'd just give it a mention on my channel and that's and that's it I'm not going to go in and go filming inside and yeah I've filmed a little bit outside and I took a couple of photos and stuff but I certainly wasn't going to go in with my camera strapped to me because that's just um, that, to me it's disrespectful yeah very disrespectful so yeah Marabona Cleveland I went I went there in I think it'll be 2016 my wife booked a table and he'd kept it as a surprise for me we drove through and had a lovely meal yeah really nice really nice dream of going up and bothering bloke because he must get it everywhere he goes it's it's um, you know I'd show him respect and just you know nod and say hello sort of thing if in passing I'd never ever go up and say can I have my photo took with you and this and over as much as I'd like to be photo took with him and have a chat with him as well I'd, I still wouldn't because I wouldn't go up and push that because you know he must get it all the time wherever he goes there's somebody wanting a piece of him so you know respect it bloke he's entertained me over years and that's good enough for me uh, I know when I were in hospital when I'd had my accident <laughs> you know he helped me get through it did that man I'm not saying personally you know he didn't come to hospital and all like that obviously but I watched his um, the one where he built the boat with uh, Maeve I think it was yeah I watched that um, and that kept me going for a <laughs> a uh, week or two shall we say so he's back yeah so I'm about 22 mile off home now so I just had to switch it back on and have a chat so yeah lovely ride out I'd over to Kermington if you ever decide you want to have a ride over there and visit lovely food as well I didn't have nothing to eat this time because I was a bit pushed for time I didn't want to be waiting it was quite busy um, it wasn't packed but it was quite busy so I didn't you said you might be waiting for your food so I thought I'd just get something to to drink so it says here we're going to be eating a bit of traffic so we're actually back in Yorkshire now I've got to say one thing about the um, the bikers over in Lincolnshire Lincoln, Lincolnshire it's um, they're very polite and the wave and you know nod and stuff as we I don't think there's one bike gone past me that hasn't nodded <laughs> back for a week and then um, I break up Saturday is it 15th, 13th or anyway I break up on Saturday and I've got two week off work yeah very polite people very polite people the nice bikes these KTM jokes but they're not really for long rides you do get a bit cramped up and you know when you stop at traffic lights and you can put your feet down <laughs> you know you're glad <laughs> just to have a bit of a break so I wouldn't really fancy going touring like you know Scotland or anywhere <laughs> stupid like I'm not saying Scotland's stupid but anyway far away is stupid to be riding one of these it's just mainly for knocking about on but he does love the uh, 
does love the B roads. It's just not very good on my knees. <laughs> so yeah, I've got two week off work, got five shifts to work. So I've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh, I'm a bit bloody late. And then I'll break up for two week, over two week. And then when I should be going back, it's a bank holiday Monday. So I've got that Monday off as well. I'm going to Cyprus for a week, so I'm hoping to uh, take me GoPro over with me in a mountain, try and do a um, hire a bike and have a ride off for a few hours. So it's like that's Drax Power Station directly in front of us, so we're knocking on towards like Selby area and um, and all that. And next and after that will be Whitley. Uh, Edgra, Edgra Power Station, coming into Whitley. Oh, we're going to go that way, but I almost feel Ferry Bridge and Nottingley. In fact, no, not because the road works at the top. Wait for it, chicane! <laughs> oh, there's another one. Is he waiting for me? Oh, very nice here, chicane! Sh 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 chicane! Run over them! Chicane! Right, we're in Whitley! You fucking body set on me! You shit me, son! Mushroom farm! I bet some fun guys work there! Good! Well, I'll tell them! Right me YouTubians, I will leave you here. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Please make a world of difference. Love you all to bits. I'll see you next time.